Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, doing a beautiful walk and talk here on the beach in Phuket. Yes, amazing beach over here guys. In today's video, a few amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, some news that is very important again at the moment for you guys to understand. And of course, talking about whatever comes to my mind, let's quickly jump into the charts first because I know you are addicted to the Bitcoin charts. This is the first chart, guys. This chart I shared already yesterday. It's the one day chart on Bitcoin. You can see it's a one day chart on Bitstamp. Um, you can see what I told you yesterday, that red line, that 200 daily moving average, that is a huge area of resistance. You see, we tried to break it with a few candles all the way, like almost a week. We couldn't break it and now we are falling down again. I told you yesterday we could be pull back all the way to that green line. It is a little bit up and coming, so that's around 26,590. Could become a little bit higher the moment that we uh, touch that line in a couple of days. But this is what happens if the resistance is too big. Then we will fall back to an area of support. And I'm going to show you now where you can see those areas of support and where we will probably fall back to. So let's quickly jump into the next chart that I will show you now. So this is where you can see the short term support and resistance level guys. You can see that resistance clearly there where there is a massive amount of green at 28,500 between 28 and 28,500 I need to say. And you can see the short term support around 27,500 but when we break that we will fall back to a longer term support. So if you zoom out a little bit, this chart, you will see that there is a massive amount of buy orders around 26,000 US dollar. Where you see that shitload of green and yellow, that is where all the buy orders are. So if we would break this 27,500 level where there's a little bit of green, we could even fall to 26,000 US dollar. So I would at the moment always put buy orders at that level. Because if I go to sleep and it will drop with a wick quickly to the 26K, I am buying Bitcoin very cheaply again. Dollar cost averaging in a cheap way. So always put buy orders on these low levels where you can see a lot of other buy orders or support levels. Now let's jump into the next chart. This chart is a very important chart. On this chart we see the long versus short term holders. That's the green and the red line. The green line is the long-term hodlers. That one is increasing tremendously. People are hodling their Bitcoins for longer times. This is very positive. The short-term hodler supply is decreasing tremendously. Already since 2018, there are less short-term hodlers, which means people start to understand how Bitcoin moves. They don't sell anymore, they hodl. There is less people that hold Bitcoin for a short time of period, then there is people that hold Bitcoin for a longer time of period. A very important chart. This is becoming very clear now that people are understanding the Bitcoin long-term four-year cycle game. They buy and they huddle, just like you should do now. You should be buying and huddling. Very simple chart, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, and I keep repeating it because it's very important for you guys to understand. When it comes to Bitcoin, please zoom out. Look at the bigger picture of Bitcoin. Don't freak out on every minute on the charts. And zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of life because that is what you should be focusing on. Very simple, it's very simple. You should be buying Bitcoin every day because we are just nearing a massive bull run again and you want to be in profit so don't wait to buy buy now now let's jump into the trading tip the trading tip for today guys is a very old one buy the rumor sell the news what does that mean it means when the rumor starts or that there is anticipation that a certain update is going to be done or that something huge news is coming out for a company or an asset or like a cryptocurrency that is the moment when people start to accumulate that uh, asset and that's the moment that that asset will rise in price so you should be buying at that period of time the rumor but then when the news comes out often that price is already calculated in so mostly then the dump will come so you should be buying the rumor taking the profit 
when the news comes out, sell it again because that is how you make profit. Because else you will buy the rumor and at the news it will crash and you are again break even. So I believe that you should do the opposite. I believe you should buy the rumor and you should sell the news. Very simple tip, but a very handy tip when it comes to cryptocurrency trading. And now that we are talking about tips guys, an amazing travel tip here from the beautiful beach in Thailand man. It's so happy to be back here again. Every time my feet in this beautiful warm sea, not like the freezing sea in Portugal. Um, the travel tip for today guys is, let's say you travel with two people and you need to have an airplane flight. Then you, most people what they do is they book two seats next to each other. What I would advise you guys to do is book one seat to the window put one seat on the right side and leave the middle seat open middle seat open why the middle seat open then somebody strange can come sit between us if you book it like that one seat at the window and one seat completely at the right side most people will not book the middle seat so the chance for you to have the whole row for yourselves without anyone in between is very big and the moment that you get on board and you're on the plane and somebody will be in the middle of you you will just politely ask them ah sorry can i please change the seat and sit next to my partner and they will be very happy because they don't want to sit in the middle seat they want to sit at the right seat or at the window seat so they will always be there to change for you so it's always a win-win situation so always book window and the right seat leave the middle seat open because then the chance is bigger you will get the whole row and if not the one in the middle seat always wants to change with you and you will be again together with each other very simple travel tip for today because there was no question of you guys uh, below yesterday's video there is no question i can't answer of a follower so the thing i want to tell you again is if you are going to trade please use the links down below Bybit is the best exchange out there. I just visited them again in Singapore with a Bybit reload event. Guys, this is gonna be the biggest exchange out there because they do everything right. Of all the fees they earn, they give a shitload back to the community. That is why you can get those huge sign up bonuses because they don't want to be greedy and keep all the fees to themselves. They share them again back with the community because everyone that is trading is paying trading fees. And from those trading fees, again, these bonuses are being paid to you guys for signing up. So if you sign up to Bybit now, you will get up to 30,000 US dollar in bonus. $30 just for signing up and 30,000 US dollars depends on the amount that you deposit. Soon, and I'm there talking very soon, and probably tomorrow or the day after, you will be able to join something really exciting that will make it able for you to win a shitload of prizes even an iPhone 15 but you need to use my link to buy it to be given access to these prices it's very simple I'm just trying to do my best to get great deals out there for you guys but just using the links down below other thing if you have used my links is also very cool is you can get access to the free Bitcoin family trading signals we have a telegram trading group that tells you exactly when we buy Bitcoin what is our stop loss when do we increase the stop loss? When do we take profit? When do we take loss? All of it. You will be guided through steps every time again, again, again in the Telegram group. If you want to get free access to that group, the only thing you need to do is use the link to sign up to Bybit. You don't even need to trade on Bybit. You just need to use the link to be able to get access to that free trading signals. And in the future, I will be creating more and more and more free stuff for all those people that did watch my video, that did use my link as a thank to you for using the links to sign up to buy a bit and for watching all my videos I'm gonna make more and more free products available I don't want to ask money anymore in the future for any of the products I will make available for the VIPs out there guys so that is what I wanted to share with you guys today while walking this beautiful beach here in Phuket let's talk some live advice guys a lot of people don't even start to do what they dream of because they are afraid to fail and you will always fail when you fail to try then it is always a failure if you fail to try if you don't try the thing that you want to try you will always fail 
It's very simple. You can't succeed without trying. You should try it. And that is the way you conquer failure. If you never start, it's already a failure. If you just try it, it could be a failure, but it also could be a massive success. And if I need to reflect that to myself, I could have not walked on the beach and started to make videos a few years ago because I was already 40 years old and because my children told me, Dad, you're way too old to make YouTube videos and Dad, that's nothing for you, you can't do that, you're not like, you're not young, you can't make social media. I could have not tried it because I was afraid to fail, but I just did it. I did it. I went on the beach in the first morning, took my telephone and started to make my first video two and a half years ago and I didn't fail. For me, I succeeded. I have 60,000 YouTube followers that hopefully love all the videos and content that I create. Did earn some capital because of that. With those funds, I was able to build a school in Mexico, an orphanage in Serbia and support many other good causes. So for me, it was already a success. And yes, of course, the channel can grow bigger and bigger and bigger because now the kids saw, wow, daddy just did it and he succeeded. So we must be able to do it as well. And that is why now the kids join the team. They're now making all the reels and all the stories and all that stuff. Step by step, they will start to understand how to earn Bitcoins as a digital nomad. And that was the only thing I wanted to achieve by doing those videos. I wanted to show the kids by leading by example that everything in life is possible if you just do it. You should not doubt because then you will always fail. So you will always fail if you fail to try. Just try. That's my advice for today. I'm almost back at the scooter. If you did enjoy today's content again, uh, all the videos, all the charts and all the other stuff, then please give this video again a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? I know that you are focusing on something else now than the charts, but what do you think about the videos and all the other content and also the things that you just were focusing on? <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again for another great video.